Uh, hello there, good evening. I wanted to talk about something which definitely will have made the rounds uh, in uh, you know certain circles. Uh, anyway, uh, it happens to be this shirt. As you can see, there's the Luftwaffe Eagle. I've covered up the swastika with a uh, soy sauce package, unopened. Uh, don't want any stains on my brand new shirt. Uh, I posted this up on Facebook um, with the swastika blurred because Zuckerberg, as well as probably YouTube, do not like swastikas. Um, like, a lot of people, you know, don't understand things. Okay? Uh, I mean, like, there are a lot of things that are incredibly bad in the world today and that most people participate in and somehow they don't think they've done anything wrong but me wearing a shirt all of a sudden I've done something wrong and it's like well fuck you um, because you know I don't mean to point out the obvious things that most shirts are made in either China, Vietnam, Bangladesh, you name it. Basically, the Asian continent. Most shirts are made there by slave labor. So, theoretically, any shirt uh, that most people wear um, is evil. It's a shirt. It doesn't matter what design's on it. If it was made by a slave, that person lives a miserable life. And uh, I don't, I'm not sure if this shirt was uh, was made in Asia. It doesn't actually say anywhere that it was. Uh, last I checked with a different product I bought from them, it was made in, uh, it was a different product, but it was made in Czech Republic. So this shirt very well could have been made there. I mean, I don't see why it couldn't have been. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's different. And, uh, you know, um, it's just the hypocrisies. People walking around with smartphones. People uh, walking around with designer shoes. Um, you know, cars that are made in Mexico. Mexico is a very poor country. Uh, and it's exploited by the, uh, mostly the Americans, but the world as a, as a whole. Uh, there's a lot of things wrong with the world and one shirt on Facebook and a YouTube video explaining that and explaining why it's hilarious you know why it's hilarious because it pisses off a bunch of people that's why it's hilarious um, I know a lot of my subscribers uh, you know they seem to love to hate on me uh, that seems to be a popular trend and uh, you know when women are in the picture you know like if they start the nag bag routine and start trying to talk me out of my hobbies and uh, you know uh, it's gonna be like well I don't think you're my type why don't you uh, you know save us both the effort and uh, walk out the door because you're not convincing me of anything and I mean, there are so many guys, and I really don't have that much respect for them, um, that, you know, they dip their wick in some Asian woman or some black woman or Hispanic woman, and all of a sudden, um, their mentality towards certain things gets molded and corrupted by the influence of said uh, group of people uh, I'm not gonna say that they would uh, be you know into collecting uh, you know stuff with Nazi imagery on it but um, it definitely has an influence on their outlook on the world and it's not a positive one um, they like to think they're right about everything they're arrogant uh, they think they're progressive and what they're doing is they're enabling evil and um, you know like actually spending a few years away from women is actually not such a bad idea um, 
I, it's the strangest thing to say, but you know, especially in the younger years, because they, you, you don't want them, you know, influencing who you become as a person. Because I mean, I do believe that you know you can grow up and be a decent human being, and you're not necessarily going to um, be a bad person. Um, but you will have opinions and you know just an outlook on life that is different than um, what a woman would think and um, you know uh, a lot of people are gonna go oh there's six million dudes. you know all the simplistic oversimplified uh, answers and the why don't you just think of the positive man well, I am thinking of the positive. I put on a shirt and it's hilarious because it's pissing people off. I am thinking of it from a positive standpoint. Um, yeah, but a lot of people aren't going to get the subtle humor that uh, that is. And uh, people are willfully ignorant of uh, things. Like, uh, there were plenty of things that, you know, all over the world that were bad and they weren't just the Germans, the, you know, the Russians weren't too great a people either, and the Brits, although a little kinder, did do some bad things themselves. Things weren't so great in China, you know, uh, South America, Latin America. Things are still a fucking mess over there. Um, in Mexico, you got people uh, beheaded, hanging from bridges, and, you know, all sorts of things like that, and it's like, no. This has to be the ultimate evil. A white guy who was born, oh, I don't know, uh, about uh, about 40 odd years after World War II ended, wearing a shirt, that's pure evil. That's the worst thing in the world. Are you fucking out of your mind? Like, uh... You know, I know this is going to garner bad attention, and, um, like, there are a few things I could point out that I really don't like, um, uh, in regards to, you know, the military collecting community and how they try to, you know, say, well, if you're collecting stuff, that means you're the same as them. No, I'm not. Uh, we do things differently. Um, it's like, you know, somebody will look at this and go, well, how many black guys did you lynch today, you redneck? And it's like, um, I don't do that because it's illegal. Um, I don't know who you're thinking about, but uh, it's not me. Um, you know, it's just people and their primitive understanding and they're just you know, the bull and the red flag uh, mentality. They see something and they go off the charts. And, you know, I'm just going to say what it is. I mean, it is a joke. And I think it's quite hilarious. Anyway, I will uh, talk to people later. And have a good one.